Earth Campers, how are you all doing? How am I doing? Well, okay. Um, progress is slow. <laughs> A bit like me. <laughs> um, I've been doing vapor barrier bollocks, uh, and I'm not. I'm not doing any more. I've just decided. Can't get it to stick to stuff. The tape. I'm just sick of it. So I've done some of it. I'm not doing any more. I don't. I just don't care. I don't care. So there. Well, I probably won't do any more. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway, um, we've got another pair of hands on board called Dance. Another Dance. He's got an Iveco and he's a joiner. And he's um, <laughs> suggested ply. Ply first. So he's, he's got, he's priced up some ply which is half the price of b &Q. It's from Woodyard. Um, and then once that, that's up, that's a solid surface to attach anything else I want to attach to. Um, see, I still want to put cladding up and get the, uh, the, the seven and a half mil cladding. Because the thing is with that stuff, it, it, it does split and warp a little bit, but if it's attached to um, some ply, It'll hopefully be all right. I'm just at that stage where I'll, I'll just like, I'll do whatever. You know, it's it's a big task, is this, for me. I'm a middle-aged woman with health issues, and it's too much. It's too much for me. So, extra hands helping. I'm going to do, I am going to do some things, of course. I'm not just going to sit and watch and supervise. <laughs> I will be helping, but um, other people are getting involved, which I need, so there you go. So this video, I mean, the, the footage is it's old now, because things have moved on a bit <laughs> since I've made the following footage. Trying to do it all in order, you say, trying to, maybe failing sometimes, but... So this is sort of bed, getting the bed built, and uh, yeah. Well, you'll see where it is if you watch the video. Hey, still got ongoing issues. Windows still leaking, so that's not solved. That's the ironic. The uh, only window that's not leaking is the Perspex one at the back. Yeah, I don't know. I think that one that I blacked out might be all right. I think I've managed to seal this one because of the seal. There was a gap. You know where the seal joins? There was a gap there, so I've just put some Sikaflex over that. That might have sorted that leak out. It's these windows you see. I don't know if the seals are just old and need replacing or what, but they kind of seem to be leaking, you know, because they've got top opening bits. You probably see in the background. And it seems to be coming down there through there somehow. I don't know really. I'm getting a bit pissed off with it all, to be honest. Um, I was thinking if, if I could find a big, th a thick piece of rubber, you know, sort of pliable rubber, to sikaflex it round the seals. So on top of the seals, <laughs> I thought maybe that'd work. If no water's touching the seals or going anywhere near the seals, then it can't leak, can it? That's my reckoning. Logic. So I don't know if that's possible. I won't. I don't even know where I get a piece of long, flexible rubber, you know, sort of flattish, um, that I could just put over top, so I could flex over top. It's bodge. It's bodge it, isn't it? The alternative is to take the windows out. Maybe find some proper seal. I don't. I don't know where I would get that from. I don't suppose it'd be that hard to find out, but um, currently I don't know where to get it from. I mean, you know, the old old windows. So I don't even know if they'll do that seal anymore. Um, so do that, reseal them, or take them out and put sheet metal there. But the reason for buying a minibus is because of the windows. You know, if I'm going to end up putting sheet metal over our windows, I might as well just bought a van. So, yeah. I mean, you know, it does. It needs sorting out before I can do anything else. But anyway, the plan is to get up ply, and then that will, it will feel like some progress is being made, to be honest. Because I don't really feel like I'm making any progress at the minute. 
And the door's fucked as well now. That just stopped working. Daz is going to check the motor. See if that's okay. Uh, it's like taking it apart. And there's a relay. We unplugged this relay, which is so that connects it to the motor. The electrics to the motor or something. I don't know, but it's now I can e I can open it and shut it by hand and much more easy, easier than um, I could when this relay switch was attached. I think it was that that was caught. Ca uh, something was, was causing the door to resist, so it was hard work opening it manually. Anyways, we've unplugged some, and now it's easier to do. So it worst comes to the worst. If if I have to do it that way, then I have to do it that way. But it would be nice to have it working. It's an O-clap door. But apparently they're problematic, so I'm calling them O-crap doors. Anybody knows how to fix them? Oh, I've had similar issues. Put it in the comments below, please. did talk to another couple who've got um, an AVEC or daily with an electric door. And he said sometimes it's a bit temper temperamental. But he's got a contact. Who used to work for Iveco and and stuff, so they're send, going to send me the details. His number, so we'll see. Maybe you'll be able to fix it. I, don't, I honestly don't know. Or oh, there's the alternative is to apparently just wire it into a switch, bypass all the, the crap there, and just have a, a separate switch. It won't have all the safety features, so you know you wouldn't want to be stood in the doorway when I press the button because you might get trapped. <laughs> I think that could be useful feature perhaps but anyway um it's not a priority at the minute everything else is a priority but it'd be nice to have it working that's where i'm at really with things anyway uh don't think there's what else to say about anything right now i've got rid of my seats there's two sets of seats i just dumped them in somebody's garden it's a scrap man, so it's not just a random person's garden. <laughs> it's a scrap man, so he'll wear men, I suppose. Seems a right shame. A right shame. But I needed them out of the way. They're just, yeah, just in the way, so. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Wittering on far too long, as usual. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, give us a thumbs up and comment and all that malarkey. And thank you for watching and being here and being supportive, etc. And thank you for dinner for donations. Um George. Thank you. Right, I'm going now. Bye for now. Oh that's a nice screen. Bye for now. Hi up campers. So done a bit more. It's day I suppose day seven really. I've done something every day. Um so I put it in for a service yesterday, uh, so I couldn't do anything yesterday. But today I've put some more. Can you see the ceiling? I'm leaving a space because possibly I have a skylight. Um, so the light in the air, really. And I've done. Let me turn you around. More insulation. Across the near Sean. Right now, I'm getting some out with a bed because I'm absolutely fucked. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's going to be the next thing to build a bed. And we can put the cladding on uh, once the bed's built. Um, I just keep seeing faces all around here though. Can you see? Can you see the face? Look at it. That one over there. Look, it's like. It's gob open. <laughs> Keep looking at me. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to do that now. Well, I might just be sat watching, to be fair. And I know you all like to watch me do DIY. But it's nice for me to have some help. Uh, to be completely honest. So, so that's what's happening. Stick on the um, on that shit, yeah. It's horrible stuff as well, is it? So, 
So what are those things called you're putting in again? Riv nuts. Riv nuts. So it's a rivet, but it's got a thread inside, so you can put a bolt through. Shove that in the hole. This is on the knife, so do I have to do that? No. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Fucking speak! I'd know you were communicating. <laughs> that ain't. Can't do that. Why not? That... Working. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, it's still recording anyway. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, that feels nice and secure. Oh, that's right. Good is that. So, a bit of progress. Slight miscalculation with this, but it's fine. This is in the wall. There's a strength in it. We've got the pass, and we'll make a frame. We'll go over the top. So we're just drilling the holes now to put in the uh, what's it? These things, riv nuts. Um. be built today. So I'm drilling and counter sinking. <laughs> right, um okay so that's a space. I need to do this one. It's a bed almost. I'm gonna have sides to stop the mattress flying out. Um, and that'll be it. It's quite high, as you can see, but then you can have lots of space underneath, which is what I want. Space, man, space. So. Cutting, cladding. I'm putting it under here. I'm going to have to put some more insulation down there to those gaps. Um, 
I can't send my camera up outside. It's that bleeding windy. Honestly, if you've got a bloody piece of cladding in your hand and you stood on the edge, you feel like you're going to take off. Pissing me off! Bleeding wind! Mind you, I guess when they've got wind turbines in the middle at sea. Focus! Oh, fuck off then. Uh, that'll be a clue to how windy it's going to be. Anyway, so I'm going to fit these. Well, I'm going to put um, insulation actually first. That's what I'm doing. So, got those in. But as you can see, <laughs> we have a gap here. Now, that gap could have been at the bottom, which to be fair, probably would have been better. Because you can buy a little bit of beading, skirting or whatever to put across the bottom. Um, whereas at the top, we could do it across the top. I could just buy a thin bit of wood to put across there. But it probably would be better at the bottom, I'm thinking. So maybe all that needs to move up. Don't know. But, but insulation-wise, look, so I've obviously got insulation behind the panels, but then there's insulation behind this wood as well, so it's like it's doubly, doubly, doubly insulated. Um, <coughs> which is not a bad thing, I guess. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm going to have to maybe rethink that. I don't know. I'll get a second opinion. Action.